Hi everybody, PJ here with Andre Rogozin, Junior World Champion. So we are in the coach's room at RTC, training home of this young man. So Andre, what I'd like to know is, Junior World Champion, tell me what that week was like. You stepped on the ice, all kinds of expectations. What were your expectations of yourself and what did it feel like? Coming into the event, my expectations were just to medal because the, I did well on the Junior Grand Prix circuit all year and we thought that was a very uh, reasonable goal. So um, that was my motivation and what color the medal was, uh, I could not tell uh, as I was competing. But in the end, uh, it all played out and uh, I turned out to have two really good programs. I actually didn't even uh, win any of them, but uh, the total score was really high. So uh, we ended up with uh, the best medal, <laughs> the gold one. So it's pretty exciting to call yourself Junior World Champion and you've moved up now. You're going to be competing in the senior level internationally as well. You've got a couple of Grand Prix. So tell me what your competitive season is going to be like. Uh, yeah, we have, uh, I have two Grand Prix, uh, Skate Canada and Cup of Russia. Uh, those are going to be my Grand Prix, and I'm also hopefully uh, hoping as a goal uh, for myself to make it to Senior Worlds as well. Uh, and then also the Skate Canada Nationals, uh, that's another competition in, the, in my season. And then uh, kind of a practice competition would be uh, before the season really starts, is Oktoberfest. I'm doing right before all the Grand Prix and stuff. So those will be my main competitions uh, this season. So when you're looking at a competition like Oktoberfest as sort of a pre-event to the season, how do you use that event? What is, it, what is the significance of it? Uh, I use it, I just take it as, um, as if I were at Skate Canada already and I'd skate exactly how uh, I would have to try to skate at Skate Canada and see, and obviously this one uh, we could look back at and see what went wrong and uh, what uh, we need to fix. So I just use it as um, kind of a practice uh, Grand Prix. So now, speak. <laughs> you are one of the Canadians that I think of as an enormous jumper and you're somebody who is working on perhaps including a quad this season in your program. I want to know, what does it feel like for you to do a quad? Walk me through the process mentally preparing yourself and then the physical feeling. Well, you really have to be mentally prepared and physically prepared and once you have that, you can actually go and try the quad. So uh, when I have those two, I go out um, and you need quite a bit of speed coming in, but not too much. Uh, and then uh, uh, I do the quad toe. So when I pick in the ice, you need that big surge of energy. Just use uh, the momentum and speed and all that to your advantage and then just go up in the air and do the four rotations and hopefully land on So <laughs> does it feel very different from a triple in terms of in the air? Is there, is there, are there any forces on the body that you can tell the difference between a triple and a quad if you were to describe it? It's very similar to a triple actually, just an extra rotation. Uh, you just need that little little extra kick in the beginning to make it happen, but it's, it has to be very similar to the triple uh, because you don't want to really uh, change that uh, if your triple is good. So you just need to add the rotation and uh, you're good to go. I have a feeling that this is going to be an excellent season for you. I wish you all the best. Balshoi, spasiba. Spasiba. <laughs> Thanks, Andre.